Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey and this is Pythagoras' Theorem, part of my IGCSE exam question series. Some of the questions at the start are quite uh, common and then there's some tricky ones at the end. So try and complete all the questions you can and let's get into it. Okay, first question. You get given the width and the length of a right angle triangle and it's asked to work out the diagonal so we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem and that diagonal let's call it h squared is equal to the two shorter sides squared added together like this so h is equal to the square root of 8.5 squared plus 5.6 squared so we go to our calculator we press the square root button 8.5 squared, whoops, 8.5 squared plus 5.6 squared and we get 10.178 uh, and we want it to one decimal place so that is 10.2. Okay, next question, slightly trickier we want to work out PQ along here, let's call that H. But in the first instance, we look at this triangle here and there's not enough information because we're looking for H and we have five, but we don't have QS. But luckily the triangle to the right has two bits of information so we can work out QS, let's call it X. So using Pythagoras' theorem on the right hand side, the hypotenuse, which is 14 squared, is equal to the two short side squareds added together. So I can write then 14 squared minus 10 squared is equal to x squared. And then square rooting both sides, I can write that the square root of 14 squared minus 10 squared is equal to x. So on my calculator, I would do the square root button and then 14 squared minus 10 squared and that would give me uh, 9.798 let's say 9.798 and I'll keep that number in my calculator because I'm going to use it right now over here on the next triangle so I would say that h squared is equal to x squared plus 5 squared so h is equal to the square root of x squared plus 5 squared. So on my calculator I would do the square root. Now x is what we've just calculated so I'd press the answer button squared plus 5 squared equals and I get 11. Perfect and that's good it feels right because it doesn't ask me to give it to any decimal places or significant figures so to get a whole number feels like I've got the right answer there. Okay next question we have a right angle triangle inside of a circle and it tells us that it goes through the center M and N and it asks us to work out the circumference of the circle. So if I want to work out the circumference of the circle I need to uh, do 2 times pi times pi r and if I need to work out, I only need to work out the radius or the diameter, and I'm going to do that by using Pythagoras' theorem. So let's call the um, uh, this side uh, d for diameter, and that's the hypotenuse. So it's d squared is equal to the two shorter sides added together squared. So d is equal to the square root of 3.5 squared plus 9.7 squared. So I'll go to my calculator, square root of 3.5 squared plus 9.7 squared, and that's 10.3. Okay, great. So I need to work out the circumference, and I could half that to get the radius, but actually a better formula for the circumference is just pi times by d. So all I need to do now is just do pi multiplied by that diameter. So I'll keep that in there and I'll just press times and that will times the last answer by pi 
and I'll get 32.4 to three significant figures. Perfect. Okay, next question, we've got an isosceles triangle and it gives us the height of the triangle. It says calculate the area. Well, the area for a triangle is a half times base times height. I know the height, but I don't know the base. But what I can do is split it into a right angle triangle like this. And I could call this down the bottom x. And we know from Pythagoras' theorem that the hypotenuse squared, which is the longer side, is equal to the two shorter sides squared and added together. So subtracting 6 squared from both sides gives me this. So square rooting is going to give me x. OK, so go to our calculator. We press the square root of 7.5 squared minus 6 squared and we get 4.5. Okay, so if that's just half of the base, then the overall base is two lots of x, which will be 4.5 times two, which is nine. So therefore our area is equal to one half times by nine times by the height of six. And in our calculator, a half times by nine times by six is 27. So we get 27 centimeters squared. Perfect. Okay, next question, we've got a semicircle and a right angle triangle, and it says work out the area of the shape. So first thing I'm going to do is work out the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle, because that'll give me the diameter, which means that I can work out the area of that circle. So the hypotenuse, let's call it h, squared is equal to the two shorter sides squared added together. So the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 6 squared plus 6 squared. So on my calculator, I'll do the square root of 6 squared plus 6 squared. And that gives me um, 8.49. Oops. 8.49. Okay, so that means that the radius of this circle is going to be half the distance of the hypotenuse. So I write radius is equal to 8.49 over 2. And I will just divide that answer by 2. And I will get 4.24. Uh, OK, so now I'm good to work out the area of the total shape. So the area is equal to that semicircle. And the area of a circle is pi r squared over and then I divide it by 2 because it's a semicircle. And I'm going to also have to add on this triangle. And the area of a triangle is a half times base times height. OK, so I need to do pi times by the radius, which was 4.24 squared over 2. And then I have to plus a half times by, and let's call this the base. And then this will be the perpendicular height. So it'll be just 6 times 6. So I'll go to my calculator and I will do um, pi times by the last answer squared. It means I get to keep all my accuracy over 2 plus a half times by 6 times by 6. And that gives me a total area of 46.3. And that will be centimetres squared. Perfect. OK, final tricky question. You're told what the area is, and it's asked you to work out the perimeter. So the area is 12, which is equal to 1 half times by the base, which is 5, times by the perpendicular height, which would look like this. So I can rearrange this by... Um, first, timesing both sides by 2 to cancel the half. And then dividing through by 5 to get h. And 24 over 5 is 4.8.
Okay, now I've got the height. It means I can work out x because this is a right angle triangle and I can use Pythagoras' theorem. So Pythagoras' theorem says that x squared is the hypotenuse is equal to the two shorter sides. And this short side here is half of 5, so 2.5 squared. Plus the other short side is the height, which we worked out was 4.8. So x is equal to the square root of 2.5 squared plus 4.8 squared. So we go to our calculator, 2.5 squared plus 4.8 squared, and that gives you 5.41. Okay, now the total perimeter is going to be uh, 2 lots of x plus 5. So x x plus 5 and that's going to be 2 times by 5.41 plus 5 so I'll take that times it by 2 and then add 5 to it and I get 15.8 centimeters thanks for watching like subscribe if you found it useful and then move on to the next topic Bye for now.